So, I want to give you a clear indication on what men what men go through in this society with Aberrant Preach. But I want to show you the arrogance of women in this country, right? You have to... You have to expose, you have to make these women expose their position in comment sections every time you go back and forth with them. When they make an anti-passport video or when they sit there and talk about how you extorting people and doing all this, you expose what they, how much vanish they have. And when they try to tell you about, oh yeah, there's good women out here. Make them get a comment like this where a woman says, if I wanted to get married tomorrow, there will be 50 dudes lined up around the corner. Don't that sound familiar? Don't that sound familiar? And how arrogant these women are. Every woman in this country think that they can have 50 men. They can have access to 50 men. While you, as an average man, only have access to one. And while you have guys like this. Keep that same energy when you in front of some dudes. Cause <laughs> and they making fun of you when you want to feel yourself. But then they go here and make fun of a guy for being cheated on by his wife. Johnson, you're fired. What? Why? It's that baggy, wrinkly shirt of yours. You look disgusting. But it's casual. He had to come up. <laughs> And not the people. She was servicing the servicers to protect. Now, and you wonder why a lot of men leave and go get their passport. You wonder why it's the Austin Hollemans of the world. You wonder why more and more people are getting a passport. You can't suppress men and you can't act like that men have an advantage. While the women have more advantage over over the situation out here, you you can't do that anymore, because more and more you have Abram Priest showing the positions that women have over men, giggling and laughing at men's pain, giggling and laughing at men's men's mistakes. Men don't have access to women, like women have access to men, as you see the comment. The process of dating for men is a lot harder for is a lot harder for than it is for women. You have to put a thousand hours in just to get a woman to talk to you. While a woman get to just sit there and don't put in no work. I ask this question to a lot of people. How much work do a woman put in to impress a man? And nobody can never tell me that. <laughs> nobody can never tell me anything that how much work does it take for a woman to impress a man? All the while they telling you to put in a thousand hours to impress this woman. They tell they p telling you to put a, a billion hours. You got to climb Mount Everest <laughs> in order to impress women. But <laughs> they laugh at you when you get cheated on. Now, let's see what Auburn Preach has to say about this poor man dating this unattractive woman. And she end up opening the relationship because she got bored with him. And he can't go nowhere because he put too much work in. We're in a society where men can't just move on because the average men is, they handcuffed. They have to work 10 times harder than the average woman, just as you see in this situation. Now, let's hear them belittle and berate the story of the situation. And don't really go with the guy on the side and say, hey, men need to feel better about themselves. Men need more access to certain better quality of women. Men need to be able to, to access Let's see them not make that point. Act and serve other cops. Good lord. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd be here with her. That picture didn't age well. <laughs> you know what's so funny about that? <laughs> a lot of people were talking, they're like, bro, and this is a 
lot of women. We were a lot of women. We were like, yo, man, like, I saw her pictures and like, you know, the girl and they risked their jobs for. They didn't want to just come out and say like, this girl's like a four, okay? And that's fine. You can just say, just come out and say like she's not the most trapped. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's not even the point. Do you, you have to put you on a game about the male brain? If it's present and it's down, we going to town. Oh, so these guys promoting niggas to just fuck anything. And when we have, mind you, these are the same piece of shit motherfuckers who talk shit about fresh and fit, who have arrogance. These are the same motherfuckers who talk shit about DJ Academics, him having money and him having a little confidence is bad thing. When men have confidence is a bad thing, but when women have a confidence is a good thing. But we got to sit here and throw our standards away. And when we do have standards, somehow, some way, we're bad. We're the bad guys. <laughs> that part. <laughs> hey, listen. If it's present and it's down, we're going to town, Brown. You have to understand one thing. Like, it yes, sir. Cha-ching. We are going for the jackpot. And let me say, there was a jackhammering that was happening. They... Drill the fuck out of her. And I ain't talking about no drill sergeant. Well, well, well technically, was her sergeant. That's kind of wild. Ain't left, it? right, left. <laughs> drill sergeant. And hey, yo. I've heard all kinds of crazy takes. <laughs> like what? <clears throat> What'd you hear? But here's here's the, 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 the real simple take of the matter. People who are at work, male and women, traditionally fuck each other. She was married. Didn't even matter. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of office romance involve people who are in relationships and marriage. The truth of the matter is, when men and women work together, there's going to be some fucking shenanigans happening. Even if you have an anti-fraternization policy, let me tell you, they got the strictest one in the military, and they fucking in the barracks during basic training. They wasting no time. They'll fuck superiors. They'll fuck inferiors. They'll fuck the person laterally. They don't care. They see a hole, they going in. She sees a rod, she jumping on. I'm not saying it's always consensual, but in this case it was. So, what they tell you is that these women working was basically access to them having more sex with other people. Well, when it comes down to men, they don't have that type of access. They got to sit back and be... They got to get, they got to be suppressed to one woman, right? Huh? The same motherfuckers who tell you to go marry these women. And when they cheat on you, somehow, some way, you, you just got to move on, my man. <laughs> move on, eh? Right? right? Men are more loyal to women than women are loyal to men. And I'm talking about the average guy. The average guy that's had to take a thousand hours just to get one woman. He's not going to cheat on this woman. Because it took him way too long to get her. But somehow, some way, nobody talks about that. Where, hey, the average man can't cheat. The average man don't want to cheat. The average man would not get a pretty super hot uh, woman to cheat with. But the, the average woman will cheat with every single guy that she can. So we're not even going to talk about the more devious shit. And good on the police chief for firing them. Why? Were you recently injured in a car accident? Look at this check for $160,000. If you're looking to get... Devious shit. And good on the police chief for firing them. Why, Abba? They were just sleeping. They were sleeping together on the job. Sorry. We ain't paying you so you can get some cheeks. I'm glad you're getting some cheeks. Yeah, but not... But we ain't paying you so you can get some cheeks. Not on my... Not on my... you can't pay to get some cheeks... Nigga, I want to get paid to get some cheeks. So, he's happy that men lower their standards for women, but when women lower their standards for men, guys like this talk about you. Remember, mind you, these, if you look at the circles that uh, Abra, uh, I don't know which one of them, Abra and Preach or whatever, both of them, the circles that they hang out with, they hang out with some left-leaning pieces of shit women, and they hang out with some left-leaning pieces of shit men who believe that you should be Good and happy that a woman is even looking at you, looking your way. I'm sick of these motherfuckers, man. The Coast Greg Adams, the, 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 the fucking, all these different people. And you wonder why we leave. You wonder why men leave, go on the plane, <coughs> and work their ass off. Or mind you, 
when when we see this type of shit, men get motivated to go overseas so they can have some type of freedom and have an advantage. I think every man deserves to at least have three fine women in their life or have access to three fine women in their life in their whole lifetime before they even get married to a so-called average woman. Three. Most men never even touch or ever been around beautiful women because it was so hard for them to do it. And then they was pursuing one and it took so much bullshit just to get this one woman and they just gave up in men. I can't do this no more. This shit taking too long. I can't do it. I, I'm not doing it no more. Thousand hours later, you counting the hours. I want to get them cheats right now. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. She giving it to somebody else. Oh, I'm done. I can't do this no more. I got to go somewhere else where I don't got an advantage. All these fucking dickheads who telling you, oh, it's it's women in Atlanta. They're having sex with transsexuals and gay men. Oh, I, I want to go over there because all the STDs and shit. Oh, go to go to go to Dallas. We was talking. They was telling us to go to Dallas. And then people told you how messed up Dallas and Texas is when it comes down to women. Oh, we, uh, 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 no, but it's women. No, it's not. Where, where's the place where, where the average man can go hit the jackpot at? Where, where's the at? Where is it at where the average men can go get easy, easy, easy transition from women? If they want to have fun, where they, where is that? No matter what this guy looks like, no matter if his dick is small, no matter if he's short, no matter if he's socially awkward, where is it, is it at? Because, well, the only open market I see for all men to be able to get what they want, even no matter what they look like or whatever, is that they go overseas. Where is it at? You have never solved the problem for men, but you sit here telling them to take your course and go to the gym and this and this and that. And, and that doesn't open up shit. Because once they finish all that process and that bullshit, they still got to put in more work. And it, 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 it makes them, sometimes it makes them want to end their life. And they do. But then you got dickheads like this constantly belittling you and berating you when you do make a mistake with a woman. Not, not on my dollars. Your cheeks cost me money. So it better cost you too. Not, not on my dollars. It's your, it's your dollars. It's my dollars. Yeah, the only people getting paid to get some cheeks are OnlyFans mom. <laughs> and they should. Oh wow! As you see, feminist ass views. He has to put that out there. Oh, the only women who should be getting for some cheeks is OnlyFans models. As you should. And kiss at him. These fucking feminine ass men. This is why you don't take advice from none of these motherfuckers because they all work the side of women for the women having advantage. Have you ever noticed that when a woman is on a man's side, you always hear a woman's voice, oh, she takes men's side. Or she tell men what they want to hear like it's a fucking bad thing that they alleviate the press of what men have to deal with. The only guy, the only people that I see... <laughs> In this society or in this space or online that I ever heard tell men to get their shit together so they can have more choice for themselves is man of tomorrow. No, no matter what the fuck you say about him and his political side, he always telling you to get your shit together so you can have more choices. And shout out to man of tomorrow. Shout out to Kitagakari Jones. Shout out to Babatune Umada. Uh, shout out to uh, Mad Bus Driver X. Shout out to all the different guys. And the SYSBM who tell you to save yourself from this bullshit and you go where you having an advantage. Because you shouldn't have to deal with dirty, stupid motherfuckers like this. There's a reason why we go to other countries and other cultures. Because once we go to other countries and other cultures, men like this don't have any sand anymore. You st you're guessing that culture. And it takes you time for people to respect you. But I bet you it, it'll be worth it. Like I said, Austin Holloman. Let me break this down to you with Austin Holloman. Austin Holloman was a young dude who wasn't supposed to have problems with women over here. Because guess what? 
if he was over here t telling women what they wanted to hear, he'd be getting cheeks left and right. But even he exposed that how messed up these women is. And he ain't the only one. I saw a whole bunch of porn stars, a whole bunch of dudes who, who look like they can get all, any woman they want. And they say they don't like none of the women over here. If you got the best looking dudes out here telling you that these women are fucked up and they don't like them, then it, it just, it just, it, 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 t it tells you something. Where the guys who can't get women or the guys who struggle with them, they if we all on the same page, it means it's the women are the problem and not the men. If some of these guys who can get women leave, don't want to be around them, it's showing how in fucked up these women really are, mentality wise and physically wise. Don't 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 don't, don't let me try to expose. The fact that some of these dudes, because I know two porn stars, I didn't talk to them in like years, telling me how bad in bed these women are. And it's not worth it because they, they like dead fishes. That's the reason why they like big, big stick men, because they like to just stand there and sit there. They, they ain't good in bed. They pretend they are. That's why when they when you turn the camera on them, they pretend and they try to turn up on the camera. But he said, basically, they they suck in bed. They not worth it. He, the best time they, a lot of men said the best time they ever had was overseas. Sexually, best time they ever had was overseas. The women here, even the guys who have access, don't even like these women, and they talk about how bad and bad these women are. But you had to deal with guys like Aubrey and Preach. But no, they deserve to be fired. And the last thing, and I think the most important thing is the husband stood by her. Everyone's going after him. He said, this is my wife. I will not leave her. Apparently, they were in some kind of weird relationship that was open. But he No, he, didn't, he isn't going to leave her because the fact is he's not going to leave her is because the fact is he put too much work into it. He don't want to do this again. That's what that's what people don't talk about is that some men just don't want to keep doing this process again of dating. He don't want to do this again. He don't want to he he don't want to do it again. He don't he don't want to have to go out there and date again. It tells you a lot about a man when he gets cheated on by a woman and he just don't want to go back out there. Dating is so messed up. <laughs> That men who get cheated on just want to stay with the women they, that cheated on them. He's upset when he's also a cop. When he found out that his other patrolmen were patrolling her inside. I get it. I'm not mad at it. I understand why you'd be upset. And they're and they constantly making, making jokes. They're constantly making jokes. Google, <laughs> But if a man cheats on a woman, I bet you would, you should leave her. Why are you wasting her time? Hey, you want the relationship to be open. You're just like, nigga, I don't want it to be that open. You know what I'm saying? I, listen, I left the door open. I didn't want you to open the windows too, bitch. You could have a party. I didn't want you to let everybody in the neighborhood in our home. But that's a lot. I understand. I understand why he's upset. Him staying? I don't understand. I'm not going to lie. But hey. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. It's none of your business when what what Fresh and Fit do. It was none of your business when what what or what DJ Academic do. But you still made fucking videos of it, right? The going against Red Pill, all right. It's none of your business. But when it comes down to the advantage of a woman, it's none of your business now. <sighs> fucking Jesus Christ, man. Piece of fucking garbages, man. This is what you have to deal with in America. Even if you turn it off, you got to deal with these motherfuckers in real life. And in, in, in real life, like I said, man, I met a lot of people that I wanted to punch in their face and I had to walk off. I'm happy that I have video games and anime and all these different things, these different outlets in my life. Because, man, oh, man, I would have went off on somebody, man. Lucky I got a discipline and everything else, man. People like this, man. This is what men have to deal with. When you get cheated on, when you get 
betrayed by a woman. They comments like this. She took F the police to new heights. I stand by despite her. Wait, wait, you're being hell hotches. I feel bad for the husband. How can can someone have such little self-respect? Oh, wow. Have little self-respect. But then on another comment, y'all be the same motherfuckers talking about, oh, men need to go do this and men need to go do that. They need to go practice social skills. They need to go do this and do that. Make your fucking mind up, pieces of garbages. My best friend at my breakfast at the time ran her business and and slept in a squad car and was having an affair with her married with a married partner while stalking her exes with with her badge. When she became a cop, everyone knew they gave her a gun. Everyone knew she was crazy as cat. They gave her a gun and a badge and she binge power on uh, binge on power. Wow, they they telling on people. And, and and you think that it's okay f- for men? <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She served the community well. She's the definition of thank you for your service. She did the FBI. Couldn't do. Take the entire apartment down. She's a hero. She keeps the cop, cops male manner and imagine walking to the work getting topped off. The rest of your day is going to be a breeze. It's a joke. It's a joke to these people. But these are the same people who want to talk to, talk about men. These are the same people who want to talk about incels. These are the same people who want to give you advice on this shit. <laughs> these are the same people. They have no self-awareness. That they are part of the fucking problem and the reason why men don't have any type of, they don't have any type of fucking uh, faith in in the, in the society. That if my heart, if I do all this shit to y'all stupid motherfuckers tell me to do, where's my guarantee at that I'm going to get what the fuck I want? <laughs> I went to believe that he, he took her back on the papers just because police benefits. But is a hundred percent guarantee simp of the century. I don't want to think it's possible to judge. Blah blah blah. She served. The worst part of the situation is her husband is acting perfect example of what what they want men to become. He cannot assist himself. He cannot hold any standard. He cannot uh, anything. It is even if he wanted to divorce her, he would have to look in the possibility to at no fault divorce. She would get half when he got proof of infidelity. Finally, somebody with, 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 with sense. Marriage is a trap. And I bet you, I bet you, there ain't no porn stars coming out asking this brother, asking this man, hey, how about we have sex with me and my friends? Since your wife cheated on you, she shouldn't say shit. We gonna tape it for this guy, for her to watch you because she humiliates you. I never hear that from none of these motherfucking porn stars and sexually liberated motherfucking women and all these dickheads like an Auburn preach. I never hear that kind of suggestion and solution for men. If they get cheated on, oh, he stays with the wife. Okay. We got a whole bunch of porn stars ready to service him and give him some ass for a better looking woman. And and tips the balance. We don't hear that shit. I have a lot of solutions. And somebody asked me to make a video about the solutions that I would I would make in society to fix some of this shit. And I might put it out there, and I might not. Husband is the type of guy to sit in the hotel and share in his corner room. Wow, he calling him a cuck. My mom. Was lying in jail. She heard so many stories of her co-workers. Chasing after male co-workers. Married or not. I'm not surprised. Wow. So y'all had to. So this is what y'all wanted to do. This is what feminism wanted y'all to do. To be free right. To go work. Instead of working for your behalf. So you don't so called get. Advantage. Uh, uh, an advantage over men. Y'all want to go. Y'all abuse this. And cheat on your husbands. Right. The fact that she looks innocent, it makes it even worse. According to the uh, the day, the substance that she he was unfortunately was in an open relationship. So she might have used that excuse 
for actions. Finding out your wife was letting the co-worker butt them cheese and he's still not leaving. Crazy. She took the act of service. <laughs> the whole time service is cheap. I missed the what's it called? Blah, blah, blah. I'm a guy for charity. The chubby chick walks out and tried the restroom after her and noticed the weight pushing against the door. I saw a brother in there and caught me off guard. I heard about stuff like this. Witnessed the aftermath in real life. It's truly thought for me the rest of the day. I witnessed something similar at the work when I was heading to the gender neutral thing. I'm a guy for, uh, uh, what's it called? This, this chubby girl walked out and I tried to go to the restroom, blah, blah, blah. I'm at work. Abra is making me laugh. People bashing on her husband and don't understand. If he divorced, he still has to pay up. Fresher fit. Prophecy never anticipate a high value woman like her. She's not cheating. She's excusing her options. Wow. Let, let's see what these guys say. And what in you does she consider high value? The same universe where these type of high value men. I keep saying nasty is nasty, but y'all making excuses. No, you don't. She's for the streets. Probably the funniest thing in this whole situation is the police in question run a train. A lot of people in a small town went to school with with a girl who did the same thing, helped ruin a bunch of marriages. It's been amazing to me how a, a woman cheats and a man get blamed and mocked and the woman is told that she's the victim. Thank you. Now let's see what the comment says. So true, it drives me crazy. If she's a victim, blah, blah, blah. She's just a poor woman caught in a bad sin. He cheats. He's a bastard. Bro, who said that? I'm start. I'm starting to think people just make up double standards. Just look at the comments section. Everyone is roasting her for cheating. No, they're not. They're talking shit about the guy for staying. Um, blah 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 blah. Women is more criticized. And then no, they not. No, they don't. She's clown and turned into a meme. The host called him a cuck, which is technically he is, but being mocked and equal because he didn't read through the comments. Some of them wouldn't directly rebunk. They suggest that he must be insane and blah, blah, what's wrong, especially if the news after we break. Ain't nobody uh, calling her a victim. Both of them are getting mocked. Uh, she's to blame, blah, 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 blah. Now they're trying to turn it around. He called him a cuck that didn't leave her, not because she cheated on him. Who's getting blaming the husband? The only I've seen lately calling is calling him a simp. Actually, the other way around. No, it's not. Because the fact is, if anybody y'all cared about this shit situation, y'all would have sent him some females. Y'all would have actually hit him up like y'all do anybody else and say, hey, my mans, a porn star. <laughs> y'all would have tried to get porn stars involved in this and say, hey, the husband should be on there. And guess what? He should be a, he was he should do OnlyFans with some banging ass porn stars and he bang them girls and make a lot of money from it. But y'all don't think like that. Now, let me let me put it out there. They are they are laughing laughing at him instead of finding some only fans only fans women or porn stars for him to have sex on camera Why did the fucking name show? They laughing at him instead of finding some OnlyFans models or porn stars on here with porn stars for him to have sex on camera to get back at her and show support of of him. She. Open the relationship for her, not for him. So why nobody is is trying to help him get some better women to have sex with? So he can get some sex from 
better looking women. Nobody ever thought of that. So, So, this is uh, the kind of society we live in. A man get cheated on, he get laughed at, and he's not getting help. I don't have the power to do it. Like I said, if I had access to some of this shit, I'd be like, homeboy, your wife cheated on you. You got one choice. We gonna shoot this OnlyFans? I got a couple porn stars that look better than your fucking wife. You bang them out. She has to watch. Or she don't have to watch and everybody know that you got the ability to have sex with all these people. It's only fair. And guess what? I bet you it'll be the whole bunch of men on his side. She divorce him. We gonna have his back. She cheated on him. Not the other way around. And then it's gonna make her look bad. This is how we move shit around. Instead of just talking and saying how bad she is and she's a meme. No, you got to help the guy. Just like when men get cheated on by their wife. When their wife go out and cheat on them with a fucking teen boy. And the dude take her back. Men are so subjugated nowadays and oppressed. That they're taking women back after these pedo women do this pedo shit. But then the Abram preacher out there laughing at motherfuckers. Look at his fucking dumb fucking face. Remember. Remember what happens when you slip up and when you make a mistake. The whole society is laughing at you. But when you try to stand your ground and you want to try to get an advantage, they want to swat you down so they can talk about you. 